Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Krause from Kane Elementary. Welcome back. Mr. McCauley, where are we going today? Oh, I'm so excited, students. Today, we'll be visiting a fairly new spot in downtown Bartlesville called Unity Square. Oh, I love Unity Square. It's one of my favorite places to go here in town. It has such a big city vibe. I know what you mean. And students, don't forget, after the tour, we'll be right back here for some discussion questions. We'll see you soon. Hey everyone, I'm Maria Gus, Executive Director of Visit Bartlesville, and this is Tower Center at Unity Square. Last year, Bartlesville was able to come up with this new green space, Tower Center at Unity Square. It's a really beautiful urban green space that ties together the two buildings that it's right next to, the Price Tower and the Bartlesville Community Center. Unity Square was designed by Taliesin, which is Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural school. And that's one of the pieces that ties these three spaces together. When you're walking through Unity Square, you will notice some of the elements of the Bartlesville Community Center and some elements from Frank Lloyd Wright's Price Tower. One thing you have to do when you come here is enjoy this open space. It's free, it's open all year, and you can come listen to music, take an exercise class, or just enjoy nature. So, we hope that we'll see you soon here at Tower Center at Unity Square. Now let's take a little field trip and check it out. Another beautiful part of Tower Center at Unity Square is all of the natural elements, especially the native plants and flowers found throughout the park, but especially here in front of the 66. These plants are all native to Oklahoma or the area. And another great thing are the beautiful sandstones that we pulled from the Osage Hills. Some of these stones were so big, we had to turn them into benches. So when you come to visit, you'll notice the beautiful plants and greenery and sandstone benches, a great place to enjoy a show. This is the Musical Instrument Garden at Tower Center at Unity Square. This garden was brought to you by Leadership Bartlesville Class 27, and it's just another way to make Unity Square a more wonderful place to be. The sounds are really beautiful with all of these instruments, and you can also come and have fun with your friends or your family, or just play these instruments until you come up with your own sweet tune. Hi everyone! One of the great things about Unity Square is all of our wonderful friends that come and join us and make this a better place to be. One of those people is Laura Price from Bartlesville Public Library. Laura is the Youth Services Librarian for the library, and I'm so glad to see you today. I'm glad to see you too. What a nice day. One of the great things about Tower Center at Unity Square is all of the wonderful activities that the Bartlesville Public Library brings over here. Starting last year, we held most of our summer reading program events here at Tower Center at Unity Square. We're lucky enough to be right across the street. And so um, we had lots of children's events, events for teens. And this year, our summer reading program is Tales and Tales. You may have gotten one of these flyers at school already that explains how to sign up for the program beginning May 10th um, on the Beanstack Tracker app. You know, last year, you had so many fun programs that you did out here, in addition to encouraging people to read over the summer. Mm -hmm. What were some of the fun things that you have planned for this year? Yeah, so our kickoff event is June 12th, Saturday, June 12th at 6.30 p.m., right over here on the Tower Center at Unity Square stage. We're gonna have a family fun concert featuring the Sugar Free All-Stars. They were here in years past, but we're welcome, welcoming them back since we have this nice new venue. They are a really fun kids pop funk duo, and we're going to have a big concert out here. Bring a picnic, bring your favorite takeout, and just enjoy the evening with us. This sounds like so much fun. Everyone I talk to loves the Sugar Free All-Stars. So 
Laura, last year, I know you had some great programming. What are your plans for this year? What can we expect for summer 2021? Well, other events we're having out here include uh, a magic show, some big bubble stations, bubble fun. Uh, we've got our mad scientists. We're also gonna have the Fertastic Canines who are new in town, some uh, trick and stunt dogs. Cool. The police canines are gonna come visit. We're kind of sticking with the animal theme, tails and tails. And then we've got a series of some teen programs that are gonna be held in other areas of town, but I wanted to let you know about that. And you can find all of these events and all the information about them on the library's website and Facebook page and other social media. Laura, thank you so much for all of this information. And thank you to the library for making Tower Center at Unity Square such a fun place to be in the summer. Hey everyone, this is going to be the new art installation at Tower Center at Unity Square. It's called Native Colors, and it's by an artist from Kansas City, Missouri named Amy Jacobson. The wonderful thing about this artwork is that once it's complete, there's going to be some beautiful colors in those flowers. One thing people really wanted to make special about Unity Square is that it was always changing or growing or becoming something more beautiful. So if you were going to add a piece of artwork or flowers to Unity Square, what would it be? Would it be something like this? Maybe a statue? Maybe some beautiful flowers? Think about how you would like to make Unity Square even more beautiful. Another thing, when this art installation is complete, there will not only be the beautiful colors, but there'll also be a lovely water feature where you can run through the water and have a good time while you're getting cooled off in the summer heat. Hi, Shauna. Hey, Maria. How are you? Great. Good. Everyone, this is my friend, Shauna Phil, and she's from Bliss Yoga Studio. And one of the wonderful things you can do at Unity Square is have a class from Shauna in yoga. So, Shauna, do you think you could maybe show us and our friends some yoga poses? Of course, I'd love to. I have a mat just here for you. Great. Okay, you ready to start, Maria? Yeah. Kids, if you're ready to start, you can stand up in your classroom and join us. We're just gonna step our feet a little further apart. We'll take a big inhale, reach those arms high, stretch it long, and on the exhale, just take one arm down, stretch the other arm over, stretch it long, and bring the arms back up overhead, and stretch the other side, reach it up and over. Inhale back to the center, reach it up, and on the exhale, forward fold. You can hinge up the waist. You can bend your knees. Let your head hang loose. Maybe sway side to side. Kind of think about an elephant's trunk. You could grab opposite elbows if you want. Breathe and stretch down the back. And then on an inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips and then rise all the way up. Inhale your arms up and heel toe your feet in closer together and then float your arms down by your sides and we'll find mountain pose. Reach the fingertips down, press through the feet, squeeze your leg muscles, squeeze the core in and squeeze your arm muscles. Activate like you're just going to take off off this mat. Breathe, squeezing the air out, strong mountain pose. Inhale, your arms up, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. And we'll just turn to the side if you want. Make sure you have room. We're gonna find down dog. Inhale, the arms back up. Exhale, find your forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Then take your hands to the mat and step your feet back. Press it away with your hands like you're making an upside down V with your body. Down dog, breathe, press away with the fingers. The next breath, slowly bring those knees down to the mat and we'll find cow and cat. Inhale, let your belly drop, bring your heart forward. And exhale, tuck your chin and tailbone, find your Halloween cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. 
bring it back to a neutral spine and we'll find bird dog right leg goes out stretch it long then bring the left arm forward Keep your core in tight and then bring it down and we'll go other side. Left leg goes out, right arm comes forward, kick and stretch and bring it down. And we'll make our way to a seat, find a comfortable seat. Seated either any way that feels good. Inhale the arms up, reach up. You can bring your hands to heart. You can keep them here at heart center if that's comfortable or maybe drop them down to your knees or to your lap. Keep a long spine and then bring the air in. Breathe in through your nose. Fill your belly up like a balloon. And then on the exhale, back out through your nose. Squeeze the air out of the belly like you're wringing out a wet towel. Deep breath in. Full breath out. You can continue with this breath as long as you need it to help calm the mind, to calm your breath, maybe your heart rate, until you feel relaxed. Take a deep breath in and exhale, open mouth. Letting it all go, you can open your eyes. Maybe you feel a little more calm and a little more peaceful. Hey, wasn't that great? I love yoga. It just brings me some peace and helps me feel more calm. And one of the great things about Tower Center at Unity Square is that it's a place where you can find quiet and peace or fun and activities. But when you want to calm down, think about this book, I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness. And mindfulness is a tool that all of us can use to make sure that we're calmed down, focused, and ready to take on the day. I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde and art by Peter H. Reynolds. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor being carried away. I give myself a moment, I take a breath and then I tell myself it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself and start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now 
I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream. We are peace. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual field trip of Tower Center at Unity Square. I hope that you have enjoyed the trip and I really hope you get out here and enjoy Unity Square sometime soon. Bye for now. Oh, Maria, that was such a great tour. Boys and girls, I love this book. It's my, my new favorite book. Mr. McCauley, every time we take these tours, I feel like I learn something new. You know, me too. I had no idea that Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture students, they were actually involved in the design process of Unity Square. How about that? I, I know, right? Yes. And so, so students, I have a question for you. In what way does it look like the Unity Square is connected to the Price Tower and the Community Center? That was a great question. One of the things that I learned that I had no idea was that the public library does so many events out at Unity Square. Kids, did you know that? I sure didn't. So boys and girls, what do you think about the idea of learning outside? Now that COVID-19 is beginning to die down, yeah, very soon there'll be more events and concerts at Unity Square. So question, students for you, what kind of concerts would you like to see at Unity Square? Okay, so Unity Square has a great, big, wonderful stage out there. Um, I love seeing people out there at the concerts. I've even seen a few kids out there pretending like they're giving a concert. Boys and girls, if you were to give a concert at Unity Square, what kind of concert would you perform? Piano? Singing? You know, I also love the way they have free exercise and yoga classes to help our minds and bodies. So question students, have you ever used stretching or breathing exercises to calm you down? If so, how'd it go? Great question. I want to tell you a secret. Guess what? What? I have actually been out to Unity Square and enjoyed some of their yoga classes and it's so much fun. Totally different doing yoga outside. Boys and girls, you should try it. Gosh, Mr. McCauley, this was great today. I really, really enjoyed going and seeing Unity Square, what it has to offer. This book is one of my favorites. Boys and girls, I hope to see you out there sometime. Mr. McCauley, I might see you out there sometime. You bet. That sounds like fun. All right. We'll see you soon. Yeah.